How you doing? Wayne Barron from CFFCS.com's Coding Source here to bring you lesson number three. Um, let's uh, sort of uh, get a wrap up of what we've done in lesson one. Lesson one, we created a form. Uh, we uh, uh, created a form that would send the information to another page using Ajax, uh, which would allow the user to actually stay on the page and show a message if uh, their information was inserted correctly. And then um, uh, we also did some CSS coding and uh, then on uh, lesson number two, we created our databases with SQL Server and uh, Access Database. And then we also inserted records. We checked to see if a record existed uh, before inserting the record, uh, show the user a message if it did exist or did not exist, and then continued on to insert the record. Uh, it would create a new record inside of the user's table, and then would create a record inside of the profile table. And so, and then from there, it would show a little message saying, thank you, your information has, has been su submitted successfully. And so now what we're going to do is that we are going to not only show them a message, but we're going to give them a link to update their profile information. So let's go ahead and create that link right now. Uh, give me one second. As I said in the uh, previous tutorial, I've got all the information up on another page so that I can just jump right on in here and um, give the information to iChina without having to uh, worry about making too many mistakes at least try not to make too many mistakes and so we want the get UID to go right there and um, okay now whenever the user inserts their information successfully it is going to show this link right here and once it shows this link, then the user can click on the link and it's automatically going to grab a hold of their profile ID. And it's going to uh, give a query of a type edit. And what we're going to do here is that we are going to create two variables. We're going to create a get type for our type and a uh, get ID for our pro ID. And so what we're going to do now is that we're going to create another file, and that file is called our header file. So once we um, create our new file, like before, we delete everything out of it, and then let's go ahead and save it as header.as. Whoa. That totally didn't save right. <laughs> so let's close that out. Let's open it back up, and let's grab a hold of that ASO file that I just created. There it is. Rename it to ASP. Now open it up. Okay, with everything out of it, we want to create our, our opening and closing tags. And so the first thing we want to do is that we want to create a get type equals protect SQL request dot query string and we're going to use this again so we're going to put a type here and then we want get UID and then we will do pro ID here okay now these are called global variables which means that you can use these variables throughout the entire page uh, or the entire site. Uh, so we also want to add in our inc include file acn.asp so that we can connect onto our database. And then we go over here, we remove this line, and then we add pound include file header.asp okay now with that saved go back over here and then we have to put this your at if there is an at 
within your language, it has to go at the top of the page. So that picture at the top of the page. Okay, now, whenever we pass this information here to our default page, it will show as long as we've got, in this case, uh, if get type equals nothing, then we need to show them a message. We need to show them, let them know that they are here and change this back to class my td we need to create the my td so we would do that in just a second and to register a free account Okay, now, whenever they um, um, go on to the page, they're going to see this right here on the regular default.asp page without any query strings. Else, if get type equals reg, then we want to show our registration form. Okay, and then, which we have lost our div tag somewhere so this would be reg div don't know what happened to it anyway then we go down here and we do an end if okay so uh, that's our reg so what we want to do here is that we want to do an edit so let's go ahead and jump over here and do else if get type equals edit then display our information for our edit page now keep in mind that whenever you do capital letters inside of your URL they've got to be capital letters here as well unless you make it to where it changes everything to lowercase and I usually like to keep everything the way I do it that's just my own personal preference and so let's go ahead and save that and then save this as well and so the one thing we want to go ahead and do now before we uh, test this out is that we want to just grab a hold of this entire thing, paste it down here, and we want ID, full name, this is going to be our image, and our about. And then the rest of this can be deleted. Change this to update profile. That's one. And we won't change this to hidden because we don't want it to be seen. And this does not belong there. And then we go, let's see here. sort of getting ahead of myself but I'm trying to get things set up and ready for what we're getting ready to do so we want to set this at um, size 65 and this is going to be our image text area columns 50 rows five name is going to be about um, tab is two one remove them two from there and let's see here image about text area and class is going to be our field column. So we've got 
Um, that's basically. Oops, get down here. Okay, that's basically it. Okay, now what we're going to be putting right here is that we're going to put a pro user ID, and then um, we're going to have a value of pro image here, and then right here we're going to have pro about. Now, these variables here, and this is going to be uh, pro fn, pro ln. Okay. These variables are going to be coming in from our database. Okay, what we're going to be doing is that we're going to take the information from our query string and inside of our header page. And then we are going to submit that towards our database to gain our ID, our first and last name, our image, and then our about so that we can update our information. So let's go over here to our pass here. And let's just grab a hold of this. Let's jump over here to header. Let me see if get type equals edit or get type equals profile then and if. Okay, now what this is going to do is that it's going to look and make sure that we are either in edit or we are in profile in order to show this information. So what we want to do here is that we want to create a query. Let me go ahead and close out of that query. Okay. And let's close out of this table as well. Nope. Okay, now create, um, click on create, query designer, choose both query, uh, both tables, add it. Okay, and what we want is that we want to get our user ID, first name, last name, username, don't worry about the password, email address, pro picture and pro about. Then we're going to go here and then we're going to do a check for one. And there you go. So now we go here and choose SQL view, copy this information out, bring it down and put it inside of our select statement here. Get rid of all of this. Okay. And we want to look for our user ID. Change this to an integer. Get rid of our number. Get UID. So, now what we want to do is we want to go in here and check and see if the record exists. So, if not in the file, then and if. So what this means is that if it is not the end of file, which means that if the record does exist, then we want to display it. So we go pro fn, pro ln, pro un, pro ab, pro about, pro image. Is that everything that I want? Let's see, pro email. So now, let's go ahead and jump this all the way down here. Now on the pro about right here, we want to make it a reverse SQL. We want to grab a hold of our function so that we can reverse this information to show it inside of our text area. If we didn't do that, then it would add our break, our line breaks and all sorts of other stuff, which can really mess up what we're trying to do here. Pro picture. Is that right? Yep, okay. And we got our pro about username last name and first name. Oops, email address. 
And we also want to grab a hold of our Pro ID. Now we should be able to run everything and everything should run. So everything is pro FN, pro image, pro UID. I think that's UID. Uh, I got pro ID. So let's go ahead and change that to pro ID. And pro about, pro image. Everything should be good. So now let's go and run our query and see if this works. So let's. Uh, bring this down here all right now load it up okay we seem to have an error on our header on line 21 which is a simple one get rid of that one come over here and add it there reload and to register for a free account as you see we're on our default.asp and it's showing us that. See what that's doing. See before we were able to see this. Okay, if you remember on lesson one and lesson two, we saw this. Now, since we're doing queries and we're doing everything, keeping everything in one page so that we can uh, make everything look neat, we're doing everything inside of a single, uh, a single page. So let's also do this, which I forgot about. Uh, vertical line top, paste the line left, uh, border one pix, double pound, and font size thirteen pix. Okay, now also we want to go here and do a style width about 250. Actually, let's change it to about 350. Okay, now when we run this page, we will have a border around it, make it look a little bit better. Okay, now we click here. Let's do one more thing right quick. A little bit more CSS code here. Let's go right up underneath here. And let's do some link. Now we want to do font. Font family of Arial. And then we want font size to be 12 picks. And we want our color to be pound CCC. And our text decoration to be none. Now we go down here and we do a Hoover back up and we want text decoration overline underline. I just think it looks really cool so I like using it. And then we want to also do our image since we will be doing image and we want to set it as border none. What that'll do is that if you wrap an image with a link, and you know how it puts a blue around your image from the link, this right here will make it to where there is no blue around it, and the image just looks like a regular image until you run your cursor over, and your cursor turns into a pointy finger. And so that right there should get that going. Now our link should not be blue no more, but should be the same color as our text. And... Something did not do right. 
go make sure that a link, a link font, a active, a active font, a visited, a visited font. Something did not do quite, quite quite right for some reason, so I'll be right back. I'm not really sure exactly what happened, so I just basically deleted everything and redid it. And it worked, so undoubtedly I misspelled something wrong. But anyway, everything works fine now. So it's a link, or a colon link, comma, a colon link font, comma, a active, comma, a active font, comma, a visited, comma, a visited font. Then you add in your font family. It's Arial, 12 pics for the font size, color CCC, text de decoration, none. And then you go down here for your A Hoover, which is overline, underline, which makes it look, refresh it again. As you can see, it gives it an overline and an underline, which is pretty cool. So, Okay, uh, so now as you can see, we can, we've can we got our underline and our overline, so let's go ahead and click here, and then we can register. Okay, so uh, let's do uh, car baron car at something dot com, username car son, son car. Register. Username already exists, so let's see. Let's add a one at the end of his name. Okay. Thank you. Your information has been submitted successfully. Click here to edit your profile. Um, I, with it being a black background, I sort of like all my text not to be too bright. Uh, it's a lot easier on the eyes, so it's up to you on what you want your URL links to be. Uh, you can add, make it maybe a brighter white or maybe um, uh, more of a grayish color. I just think that gray looks pretty cool over black. So then let's click here to edit our profile. And there we go. Now we should be able to edit our profile. Let's go over here and grab a hold of me an image. Copy image URL. Paste it in. And get rid of our HTTP. And then... Something goes here about me. And then update profile. And I think we forgot something. So let's jump back in here. And let's go down. And yes, we did. We forgot our div. So div ID, it should be. Uh, we really need to change everything up. So this is uh, uh, pro. Div. Up, oh, change that to up pro div. Let's go here and change our form name there, our form name here, and then our div. Okay, now let's go back inside of our page, copy out this, refresh it. Here's something goes here again. Update profile. And, oops, one thing I forgot to do. Now we've got to go in here and we've got to add in our information to update. So let's go here, my mistake. So if get sub equals update profile then and if so let's go ahead and grab a hold of this bring it down here and then update profile set um, where UID okay we want our pro picture and our pro about. So now let's copy this one, two, and let's change it to 
pro pick, pro about. Let's put that here and put that there. Take this and put it here and put it there. So request dot form is let's protect SQL we also want our UID as well so this is UID this is uh, image and about and we're going to change this to var character and our about to about 1000 characters and then we're going to change this to 255 and then we're going to go here response.write um, your, prof your profile has been updated successfully a f2 question type equals profile and pro id equals get uid Okay, so now what we're going to do is that once we update our profile, it's going to take the information and it's going to insert our new image, our about information, under this user ID. Once that is done and completed, it's going to show this message. Your profile has been updated successfully, and then it's going to give you a link to click here to view your, your live profile. So now whenever we run it there we go so your profile has been updated successfully click here to view the live profile and we got everything so not supposed to be done like that so There it goes. Ha. Oh, let's bring that back down. Try it again. Yep, yeah. So now that's better. I would click here. We don't have a page yet. So let's go ahead and create our profile page. So we go down here. Else if get type equals profile then and if so let's go ahead and build our profile table and that's going to be oh, table tr td let's go ahead and close that up now style width it's going to be at about, let's do it at 95%. Okay, now, what we want to do here is our first column is going to take two. And then it's going to have a class of SPTD, which we will create that in just a moment. And it's going to be span, style, font, size, at 15 pips. And then this is pro un page. So then we go down here. 
to a class TD pick, row span of two, style is going to be width of 250 picks. And then we want another column class top TD and then end it and then we will wrap it up with a last one about TD okay now we do our pro about I have to change that to that and then we're going to go here See, this would be the simple one to do. So F Pro FN Pro LN and then let's wrap it and then Pro UN. Okay, now we go here and HTP Pro Image and then Alt Haha, -ha. oh, my mistake the image source that's better now do our alt and our title and then we'll close it out now let's grab a hold of this and reuse it for both of these areas here now um, that should run so now let's go ahead and yep, that run. Now with all of our different styles that we created, we want to do go ahead and add them in. We also forgot to do something here. We want to be able to use this color on all of our IDs for our divs. And so that way it will actually show up. And so now we've got, let's see here, go up. All right, so let's do top TD. And then we've got about TD without the break right there and let's see here TD pick and then the last one is SP TD so we start from the bottom one background color pound 0 30 our TD pick is going to be text align center vertical line top and then our background color is going to be 006 and our about TD is going to be background color pound 2 F1 6A5 6A5 and then we've got our text line left our vertical line top And then our font size, we want it to be 13 pips. And then our top TD, background color, is going to be the 
B66. Okay, now let's take a look at it and see what it looks like. Should be very colorful. Ah, there we go, very colorful. Okay, uh, so that is how we update and then go in and uh, uh, view our profile. So, just to wrap up here, we created our header page and then we uh, made it to where we can view the information by doing a query against our ID against our database for each one of our users. Now, if you're going to design this uh, or design a site that's like Facebook or any of them other type of social networking sites, uh, whenever it comes to the edit page, you do not want it to be so that that ID is sitting there at the end. It's best to read it from a session or read it from a cookie. I do mine with cookies to where this is not even on there so that the only thing you get is type edit and then it reads from the cookie to get a hold of your information to let you know exactly where you are at. And so, um, but we're not going in that deep inside of this tutorial. Uh, I do have a a um, cookie script, a login script. I believe it is available on our coding source site. So just jump on over yonder and take a look at our uh, different tutorials that we have. And you should see the one for our cookie login, which also has the H5, our M5 hash for the security. And so, but anyway, uh, this right here should wrap up this tutorial. And uh, I've already got number four already done so i'm gonna upload both of these at the same time i just had to redo this one because the last one that i did was very dull boring and just not lively at all so anyway this is wayne baron for cffcs.com's coding source and i hope that y'all enjoyed these great set of tutorials uh lessons or however you want to call them and uh, i look forward to doing some more in the future and once again, I am sorry that it took me so long to get it done, but this is the website that I've been working on that has taken up a lot of my time, and uh, it's getting ready to go live. I wanted to get the, uh, the lessons done before I release this live, because it's going to take me about another two days to get this ready to go live, and so it should be ready. Uh, today is the 7th, uh, probably by the 9th or 10th of, of this month, of January. 2012 that is so uh but anyway hope y'all enjoy yourselves have uh the rest of this weekend may it be rocking for you and uh i enjoyed the heck out of this once again wayne baron cffcs.com cutting source